For Thriller, some of the most memorable touches originated with Jones, who recruited Eddie Van Halen for a guitar solo on the genre-fusing Beat It and brought in Vincent Price for a ghoulish voiceover on the title track. Thriller sold more than 20 million copies in 1983 alone and has contended with the Eagles' greatest hits 1971 to 1975, among others, as the best-selling album of all time. The list of his honors and awards fills 18 pages in his 2001 autobiography, Q, including 27 Grammys at the time, now 28, an Honorary Academy Award and an Emmy for Roots. He also received France's Legion d'honneur, the Rudolf Valentino Award from the Republic of Italy and a Kennedy Center tribute for his contributions to American culture. He was the subject of a 1990 documentary, Listen Up, The Lives of Quincy Jones, and a 2018 film by daughter Rashida Jones. His memoir made him a best-selling author. A preliminary investigation suggested that the bus, which was reportedly in a dilapidated condition, skidded before tumbling down a 60-meter deep gorge, Powell said. A number of passengers managed to escape or were thrown out by the impact, and then alerted authorities about the accident. India has some of the highest road death rates in the world, with hundreds of thousands of people killed and injured annually. Most crashes are blamed on reckless driving, poorly maintained roads and aging vehicles. In July, at least 18 people died after a double-decker passenger bus collided with a milk truck in Uttar Pradesh state. In May, a bus carrying Hindu pilgrims skidded and rolled into a deep gorge on a mountainous highway in Indian-controlled Kashmir, killing at least 21 people. Footage has been released showing the exchange of bodies of Russian and Ukrainian servicemen who died in Russia's Kursk region. As can be seen from the photos taken and shared by the Russian military, dozens of Russian soldiers captured by the Ukrainian army have been returned. Some of them are wounded. At the same time, Ukrainian fighters who were in captivity have also been returned. It should be noted that the Ukrainian army launched large-scale incursion into Russia's Kursk region three months ago. It should be noted that this is the first prisoner exchange since the beginning of hostilities in Kursk. South Korea and the US on Friday conducted their first-ever joint live-fire exercise using unmanned aerial vehicles as part of efforts to demonstrate their readiness. South Korea's RQ-4B Global Hawk reconnaissance aircraft and the US MQ-9 Reaper strike drone were mobilized for the training, according to South Korea's Air Force. South Korea and the US have been expanding their regular military drills to cope with North Korea's evolving nuclear threats. 
The exercise took place a day after North Korea test-fired an intercontinental ballistic missile, which demonstrated a potential advancement in its ability to launch long-range nuclear attacks on the mainland U.S. South Korea's foreign ministry said on Friday it has imposed unilateral sanctions on 11 North Korean individuals and four organizations for their alleged roles in procuring missile components and generating foreign currency to fund Pyongyang's weapons program. The sanctions are largely symbolic given that financial transactions between the Koreas have been suspended for years.